Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to see about the mixins concept. So, up to now, we have covered lot of things in the Vue.js. We have forgot one, one topic to cover that is nothing but the mixins concept. What is this mixin? So, mixins are nothing but what we can say is when we have the reusability of the code, when we have, when we have the common code shared between the components, we can use the mixins, help of mixins, and we can write the code in the mixin so that we can share the code between the two components. Let's try to see one example. Here we are having this app.view, right? I am creating two components. Okay. I am deleting this hello world. And here I am creating two components. In this one, I am creating about dot view. Okay. And another component is nothing but contact dot view. Okay. Two components I have created basic thing. Okay. Now here uh, before continuing to this one. So if you want to see here, you can see the mixins. Mixins is the reusable functionality. So wherever we have the reusable functionality between the components, we can create, we can share the logic between the two components here. Okay. So this is the main, main user usage of the mixin. So we will go deeper uh, one by one step how the mixins. First, let's try to see how to create a mixin and how we can share the data between the components. Let's try to see. And here I have created the two components, right? And in this one, I will create one template. And in this one, I will be having div. And in this one, div, I can create contact component. Okay, so this is the contact component. And here I can write script. So export default. Okay, so this is the component I am having. Now, here what I will try to do is in this one, let's try to write in the options API. So data. And here I can write return. So I am sorry, I am having one variable of type counter. Okay, so counter of zero. Here I will be showing the counter. Counter, sorry, counter. And in this one, do at the do at the bottom, I will be having one button. Increment. So I am using the increment, okay. And here I will be having the button, uh, click button, click whether it prevent. So on increment, on increment of. So I will be passing how much I need to increment. So this is the method. I can write here down methods, and I can write here on increment. So I will be getting the count here. So I can do this dot counter plus is equal to count okay so i am incrementing the counter so this is how we have written a simple component and the same scenario in the about also you'll be having the same logic but here we'll be having a difference that about component and we need to increment by 10 here in the about component okay so the same logic one and the same logic only but we are having the one and the same logic only but the only difference is we are using the 10 incrementing the 10 and the data is the about component you can think of that why can't we use the slots concept so you can use the slots concept right? like that you can tell but here i am showing you the logic how we can so these things we can make it as using the slots concept we can make use of the reusability but here using the in the js concept how we can use the mixins i am showing you okay now here i need to import this one so let's remove this all things and let's remove this hello world also and let's remove these components now here i am importing import about from slash components slash about dot view okay in the same scenario we can import contact and here also i can use the contact now here in this both i can write about comma contact okay so i'm having the two things so here are the two components and here are down i will make i will declare the components here so i can remove this template and i can write do and here i will be having the about and i will keep one hr tag here and one contact another contact component okay so these are the two components so i have declared here and also i have i have, I have declared the components functionality also i have mentioned let's try to see the output here if I try to see the output here, I am able to see the output. So about component, I am able to see. Contact component, I am able to see. 
but here if I try to do so it is incrementing by 10 and here if I try to do it is incrementing by 2 3 sorry 3 it is incrementing by 3 so it's working so far so good the code is working it's fine it's not the wrong but here the thing if you see the logic what we are having the JS logic here the same logic is existing in the in this contact component also so now the mixins plays a major role here so what we can do is we can create here one folder with the name mixins okay and in this mixin i can create a folder something like counter mixin counter mixin dot js it, it, it should it will be a js actually why, why, why js means we are dividing the logic with the js code right for the js code right so that is the reason dot js and here i can copy this entire code okay and here i can paste it okay i can here i can paste it and i can what i can do is so here i can remove this all code and here i can write export default and here i can write import counter whatever the name you want you can give counter mixin from dot slash sorry dot slash mixins and here i will be using counter mixin now how we can declare this one sorry how we can declare this one so this one in this one what we can do is we have a new option mixins and here i can write like this as an array we can mention mixins counter mixin so that's it so now i can copy the same thing and i can paste it in the about dot view also okay that's it so now we have divided the logic in the in the contact and about dot view we have we have extracted the logic and we have kept it in the account of mixin and the what the mixin will do is mixin will merge here the uh, the uh, the logic here in the about and the contact now let's try to see the logic here if we see the output and if i do increment so the same concept is going on without any problem okay so this is how mixins plays a major role in reusability of the functionality between the components okay hope you understood the concept of mixins if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you